Hey everyone, this is Russell with Geek.com, and we're going to take a quick look at the browser that has been added to Google Glass and how it works. We're going to be screen sharing what I see through Glass onto this HTC One. Now what you can see here is the top left-hand corner of the Geek.com homepage. This is all you can see when you first launch a site in Glass. You get a very little piece of the website because the resolution of the display is fairly low. And if you scroll uh, by swiping your finger across the panel, then you get that, that same uh, chunk just scrolling down on the screen. And that's obviously not a great experience. You can't see much of a website. And if you put two fingers on the touchpad, you get these four corners. And when you turn your head, whatever, head, whatever direction you tilt your head is the direction that the screen will pan so that you can see the rest of the website. And from that, you can take those two fingers and slide either forward or backwards on the touchpad, and the website will zoom out or zoom in based on your preference. As you're doing this, there's a small circle in the middle of your display, kind of acting as a, as a, a targeting reticle. And when you are done, when you take your two fingers off of the display, it will highlight something with the targeting reticle and you can tap, you can select the link and it will take you to the next page. You can also go forward and back if you've been navigating across a website for a little while. Uh, but mostly what you'll be doing with this is looking at simple websites. You can also look at the mobile version of YouTube and watch videos through YouTube. Um, but this is just a quick look. Thanks for watching.